on an epic spring day here in the great state of West Virginia. Hi folks, I'm J.W. Stevens, and you're about to go with me on my bow hunt for an adult doe in Eastern Panhandle of West Virginia. Using my recurve bow, I decided to do that. Just a, a little more of a challenge, and I, I like doing that. It, it seems like it's getting back to nature and getting one-on-one -on -one and putting a little bit of the hunt back in hunting again. So we want you to come along with us as we endeavor to take this doe with primitive gear. October 28th, 2016, and we're hoping that we can catch a buck on the tail of the doe down here by my recurve, shooting a custom big horn right about there. But anyway, we're settled in for the evening, it's about 4.30 thereabouts. So. several in the last couple days. So, well, keep my fingers crossed, I guess.
took that doe out right straight in the heart about 15 yards with my recurve she's down there she only went she only ran 30 yards and crashed right there in the weeds couldn't get the camera on her fast enough but I saw her go down I saw her kicking and thrashing so yeah we got number one on the bow this year 2016 over 28th went ahead and took her there so I hope the footage was good coming to you this morning uh, the reason we're coming to you this morning is uh, I shot this nice doe last night yesterday evening with my recurve my custom big horn recurve and uh, I wanted to do an interview last night but it started getting a little too dark for the camera so we thought we would do one this morning she come in about 15 yards from me and I took her with as I said my custom bighorn recurve she only went about 30 yards and that that makes me happy with those kind of recoveries another thing is as far as traditional archery goes it goes back a long time and uh, I'm proud to say as that, that uh, I have decided this year to hunt exclusively uh, with traditional equipment and uh, the reason being is because it's my personal restriction that I put on myself. Um, I want to put the hunt back in hunting again. Uh, not stretching out with the shot, but getting to where I can pull the animals in closer to me. To me, that's more of a personal satisfaction um, attribute. I remember back when I was about 10 years old, we moved to a, a country setting and, and I could go out on my back porch and walk, literally walk in the yard and right into the woods. And from then on, I remember making stick bows um, out of hickories and things like that and shoot, shooting at chipmunks and things like that. Um, and then as I grew older, I got married to my wonderful wife. and. Uh, it makes it a good deal when your wife backs you 100% and you both have the same thoughts and ideas about life. But anyway, in the uh, 1970s is when um, I started seriously bow hunting for white-tailed deer and I did that with the recurve. And then I gradually went with the flow and, and got into compounds which if you hunt with a compound that's great as long as we're doing it uh, you know legally and ethically uh, that's that's all that matters to me uh, but my personal restriction is this and you know that's my personal thing so it ended up that this year I made uh, being 66 years old and no sign of slowing down boys i want to tell you keep at her stay healthy and no sign of slowing down that uh, i wanted to just make this commitment that i want to put the hunt back in hunting y'all have a good day and god bless <laughs>
come back and see another great hunt.